my name is Shawnee Davis and I'm an artist, activist and TV personality. I have worked in several fields in the media. I used to be a, a journalist as well as a photographer and now I'm a TV and film producer as well as a TV host. So I started photography at school uh, at the age of about 13, 14. I used to be a uh, classical musician. Um, there was an old uh, photographic studio, dark room, which I discovered. And it was basically you know, a passion that I just took to. You know, I, I remember the first day I unlocked the door, the key, and it was totally dark inside. No one knew that it was there. Uh, well, at least not many people knew it was there. So it became my little refuge. Photography is something when I'm out in, a, in another country photographing a story for you know, a big international publication and we're getting a message across, that's something that's really powerful and I love doing that. You know, when I was at boarding school, I used to read National Geographic like lots of other people and dream about traveling to these exotic places and capturing these amazing images with um, you know, people in different lands. So yeah, that, that to me is really my favorite type of artistic expression. TV, again, it's more of a, it has a wider audience. So the actual craft of making a show is very difficult. You know, there's a lot of things to think about, but TV has a much greater uh, audience. And when people see you on TV, they, they look at you differently. The ones who are always most humble are uh, the ones that really strike me as being someone special. I was impressed by Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, how switched on he was. And, you know, he is a mega star, and he's just very sort of down to earth and easy to get along with. David Beckham, uh, I interview him a lot. I've emceed a few events with him. You know, he's a global sporting, well, he's become more than a sporting star, he's just a global celebrity, but an extremely, you know, down to earth, nice guy. I run a non-profit organization called Project Sea Change, and that is designed to raise awareness and funding uh, to combat several environmental issues. And this year, it's designed to combat the endangered wildlife trade, which is one of the largest illicit trades in the world. It's only second in size to the narcotics trade. And most of the demand for ivory, rhino horn, uh, lion parts comes from Asia. So, Project Sea Change this year will be launching an art exhibition which will travel around Asia and raise awareness about the topic and also raise funds to combat the poaching on the ground in Africa. And the exhibition is called Love is Wild and it features some of uh, some shots of my uh, girlfriend Jennifer there. Uh, I took her out to Africa and photographed her with some of the most endangered species, including rhino and elephant. And she is amazing with animals. So I think you'll be surprised about how uh, close she got with the animals. Now we're not trying to promote petting of animals. What we are trying to promote, is, uh, this work is more of meditation on our relationship to nature. You know, it's quite funny because when I was at school, I used to hate people who wore pocket squares and, and checkered, uh, checkered jackets and, and looked very dandy. But the more that I lived away from the UK, the more sort of dandy I've become. I like wearing, I tend to wear a lot of suits and uh, it seems to become my sort of style pocket squares, a suit, uh, semi-formal, if you like. 